A family in Marion is celebrating after a member survived a months long battle with COVID-19. And tonight they open up about that traumatic experience and the road to recovery with News 3's Danny Valle. If you're not ready to be off the ventilator, you have to have another source of air. So we had to do the trach. Life is slowly returning to normal for the Finney family. Mark Finney came home last week after a four month battle with COVID-19. Well, my first thoughts were that I was gonna go in and maybe spend a day or two or whatever and come back home. Never, never dreamed it would get like it did. Mark's wife Angie remembers that terrible week. COVID took her father's life on November 2nd, four days before she took Mark to the hospital. Dad uh, was in Evansville 10 days before he passed with COVID and mom made a full recovery. On November 11th, doctors placed Mark on a ventilator after he collapsed at Heron Hospital. Mark woke up in Evansville, Indiana, 100 days later. I still thought it was 2020. Didn't realize I'd missed uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. I didn't realize it was a new year. And uh, that was kind of a shock. As whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we just Also a shock to Mark, the amount of support he received. I got cards from people I didn't know, uh, but knew me. I got cards from people in our church. I, I got cards every week from people. Two of these cards, one of them from Arkansas, came with a prayer blanket. Those small gestures helped power the Finneys through its toughest challenge yet. We could not have gotten through this without our family, our friends, our neighbors, everybody praying for us. Mark is glad to be home and he's ready to get back to work maybe hit the gym like he used to, but that's all in due time. Until then, he plans to appreciate the small things in life that COVID temporarily took away. And you can't go to the bathroom and you can't uh, go to the dinner table to eat. L little things like that. Uh, we, we take a lot of things for granted in life. In Marion, Danny Valle, News 3, WSIL. Wow, thank you, Danny. Mark Finney got his first COVID-19 vaccine yesterday and Angie gets her second tomorrow. Mark will undergo outpatient rehab in Heron. He tells us he hopes to catch up on missed time with his family.